What Zandres means to me is family. Went to school from kindergarten till I graduated. My daughters graduated from there. My two younger ones are currently in school there and it doesn't matter when you graduate. It's just everybody's a big family. A good place for your kids to go to school. Zandres means to me the willingness to help no matter what's going on, whatever situation. The willingness to help with schoolwork and so on. Great school to raise my kids in. It's a lot of good memories, a lot of good friends, which I still have today. And also with uh, myself, your mom, and soon to be you guys. Um, three generations of graduates of Zane Trace. When I hear the word Zane Trace, I think of a community of hardworking people. And what it means to me is a bunch of loyal individuals that have a lot of pride for their school and their community community and friendships and preparing for the future. But probably the biggest is family. We know, we're not just moms and dads and neighbors. We're all family at St. Trace. St. Trace means beginning of good friendships. It means uh, getting my education and preparing me for my adult life. One thing that St. Trace means to me is just a lot. I'm just thankful for everything, the pride and how uh, tradition and commitment we do there. Zane Trace is a place where all of my children will graduate from. It is the building blocks for their education in order to become successful adults. It was my high school. I got a good education there. I had a lot of fun there as a student. Zane Trace to me means a great school with great kids. Zane Trace means to me is family and friends because I went to Grew up in the Dane Trace School District, went there the whole time. So I have all my friends are there and now all of my grandchildren except one are going there. To me, Zane Trace means a, a, a small community that has a strong learning environment. Traditions and family. Zane Trace to me means family and friends. After having taught here with the same group of women for 18 years, they are my friends and my family. And Trace is a safe place, like a second home. St. Trace to me means a safe, fun, educational environment for my kids. Well, it's almost like a second home to me. I have gone here all my life. Um, in other words, I was a student here for you know, all the years of school. Um, I was away for about 21 years because I worked in business and industry, but I was lucky enough to come back as a teacher um, 18 years ago. To me, Zane Trace means community and family. Um, I didn't go to Zane Trace here, but when my son was little, he started playing football in second grade and uh, the people just kind of accepted us in like one of their own. Zane Trace means to me friends and family and community. Though I didn't graduate from St. Trace, both my children attended and graduated in 2002 and 2006. I currently have four granddaughters at St. Trace, 7th grade, 5th grade, 2nd grade, and 1st grader. I think St. Trace is a wonderful school. Um, I love the teachers, the staff, and I think they care about their students and their kids. So St. Trace, to me, um, was it was the place where I grew up. I went there from kindergarten till I graduated. Um, so it was just kind of like a home. Like I was there all the time. I knew a bunch of people, knew a lot of the teachers. Uh, so I was just very comfortable there. It was a place where I, I was very comfortable and uh, I enjoyed being for the most part. I really liked going to school there. My favorite memory of Zane Trace would be Junior high science class, Mrs. Kearns, and teaching us the bones of the body doing the funky chicken dance. That was awesome. Probably my favorite memory of Zane Trace is when I was in the second grade and I had Mrs. Judy Hinton for my teacher. We had yard sales amongst the other second grade classes and we could bring little things in for the yard sale and then we could also bring change in to purchase items. Played varsity basketball back in 67 through 69. My junior year, we went 19 and five and ended up being runners up in the district. My senior year, I, uh, we went 26 and one and ended up with being runners up in the um, regionals down to Convocation Center at uh, Athens. And that was with coach Ron Hall. 
My favorite memory is when I heard Macy was going to be inducted into the Junior National Honor Society. I saw how happy she was and I saw all of her friends supporting her. Is watching my kids graduate from kindergarten. They're wearing their little caps and gowns and walking across the stage. Uh, my favorite memories are going to football games on Friday nights and representing Zane Trace in basketball and uh, baseball and just representing the community all together. Uh, my favorite memory would probably be winning two gold balls my junior and senior year and going to a regional final my junior year in 2015. Me and a friend of mine rode our bikes to school and got caught. You weren't allowed to ride bikes to school back in those days and we got in trouble for it. Uh, my favorite memory would be the sports. We were pretty successful. We had a chance to go to the state tournament. Made a lot of close friends with those guys that was on that basketball team. A few years ago, uh, Mr. Foreman asked me to uh, to take uh, his place as a junior high boys track coach, and he would take he would be moving on to the high school team. And uh, he put a lot of pressure on me, saying uh, this would be the uh, if they win, this would be the seventh championship in a row. Uh, so he put a lot of pressure on me and the boys that year. Uh, it, uh, they succeeded and ended up winning the SBC championship for seven years in a row. And that streak still continues today, uh, even though I'm no longer coach the team. Fun and games. I have lots of memories, but probably my favorite memories are when my daughters were very young, having them so happy to see me at the, at the end of every school day. When I was in third grade, I really loved the teacher that I had, and she encouraged us to bring things in and stuff. And so I brought my duck to school. <laughs> my mom was already at work, so I was getting on the bus with my sister, who didn't stop me. And the duck got loose. And it actually ran down this very hallway where we are now because, you know, the school wasn't the same. And there was a pretty mean teacher right across the hall from where we are, and she caught the duck, and they had to call my mom to come get it. <laughs> Favorite memory so far would be Washington. Learning about new things, going somewhere else with like tons of people, like friends, I say, and it's very fun. As a parent, it would probably be working with the touchdown club and the boosters um, at the sporting events. As a teacher, um, first thing that comes to mind is when I first started at St. Trace, I taught kindergarten, and I've now watched those kids grow up. Uh, they're now sophomores in high school now, so just watching the young adults that they're growing into is, is really rewarding. My favorite memory was when my son Gage in third grade participated in the limp sync contest and he sang a praise and worship song. He won first prize, that was exciting. I always loved when we did assemblies at the school and we had spirit, spirit sticks and we would go around the school for spirit week I especially like that. And football games. Um, there's not just one. Um, I traveled to Florida with my daughter and her cheerleading squad. Um, two years my son was on back-to-back -back gold football teams. Um, tailgating with all of the parents and the, the athletes, making signs for the boys. We did bingo and just working with concessions with all the parents and athletes throughout the many years. Some things I really liked were things that I did in high school, like Quiz Bowl. Uh, we'd go up to Indano in Columbus, and that was really fun. Um, we'd always stop at the Max and Rosen German Village and go to the Book Loft, which was a really big bookstore. Um, those trips were really fun. I was in both the National Junior Honor Society and the National Honor Society in high school. I played a lot of sports in junior high, soccer, basketball, cheerleading, track. Um, and in high school, I got the English Two Award my sophomore year. Uh, sports, I played uh, basketball, baseball, uh, track, cross country, OSVC in basketball, had a state record in baseball. Yes, I was in several sports, basketball, volleyball, track, and cross country, and some of the clubs I was in was strength club, FFA, yearbook staff, and I was also the FFA queen. I was in uh, choir, the French club, student council, 
uh, Boy State representative, and also I was uh, captain of the basketball team my senior year, and also placed into the Hall of Fame at uh, Zane Trace School. Well, I didn't graduate from Zane Trace, but as a parent, I was always involved in anything they ever asked me to do, whether it be at parties in elementary school, or working concessions at football games, whatever it be, I was always there for my kids. Yeah, it was, uh, I was on the, uh, the basketball team, and uh, we were league champions in 1987, we went 19-1, and uh, I played baseball. I was on the football team, soccer team, uh, drug-free club, I ran track, and I played basketball. Um, I was close to every group there that Zane Trace has, and uh, I'll be forever thankful. My children are involved in football, cheerleading, and basketball right now. I was in the drama club football team, track, basketball team, 1974, I won the Sociology Award. Ah, I was named first team all high two years in a row for basketball. Made the honor roll all four years. Didn't make the A honor roll, but I made the honor roll for four years when I was in high school. Since I've been a teacher here, I have been involved in many planning groups. Uh, for literacy night and especially math night. That's my favorite. I started it and continue to uh, get everything ready for math night every year. Yes, I graduated with honors. I was in the high school and junior high honor society. I was a freshman cheerleader and cheered in junior high. I was a post-secondary student and I was vice president of a Spanish club in 2000, and I was also a member of the Zane Trace Choir. I was in band. I was a majorette for quite a few years. I was class salutatorian. I personally was not, but my three kids are involved in the Zane Trace Marching and Concert Band, in the Pioneer Pacers, and Cross Country. I didn't go here, but my son went here. Um, so he was in the National Honor Society, which was really cool watching him get inducted into that. Um, he was part of the football team since he was in second grade, and when he was in high school, they won two gold footballs. He was also um, a member of the wrestling team, and he was a district qualifier his junior and senior year. Um, volleyball, track, honor society. I was a treasurer for the first St. Trace Youth Football tackle football team. I was a treasurer for over 17 years for the Zane Trace Athletic Boosters. I just recently stepped down last year and I was a member of the Touchdown Club. Um, in junior high I was involved in Power of the Pen. Oh the Power Pen was super fun. I really liked that. Um, and Quiz Bowl was really fun. I did Quiz Bowl in high school as well. Um, I was in the National Junior Honor Society and then um, National Honor Society when I was uh, in high school. I did AG for three years. I was also an SCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes, even though I was not an athlete. Um, I still went to the meetings, those were really fun. Um, we had a couple lock-ins, those were really fun as well, and I got to go back as a chaperone um, after I graduated. Community. Family. Education. Caring. I think that the people in the community pull together they help anyone that needs help, and they are just there whenever you're needed. Pride. Family. Community. Pride. Friends. Some of my best friends are still friends from all those years ago. They trace pride. Fun. Amazing. I think community. Family. And if I had to pick one word that uh, describes Zane Trace to me, would be community. Um, it's just, a, it's a community of people. It's people that um, help you whenever you need it, who are there for you. Um, there are so many people that were there when I was little, my teachers and things, that now I see them and I can still ask for help from them. I can still ask them questions and um, they're still willing to, to give me help and I really appreciate that. So um, it's just a community that I'm very thankful that I've been a part of.